So today's video on our Make It and Test It series, I'm going to be making a ladder pattern Damascus billet, but that's not what this video is about. I'm going to be testing a pair of ladder pattern dies that I made from a hydraulic press. If you remember in a previous video, I did it the old fashioned way by grinding them in. Now I have to give credit to my good friend J.W. Randall for giving me this idea. He uses both machine dies and this method, and he really likes this method. Now I'll be using this billet on a special project that's coming up, and I'll talk about that a little later in the video. So let me show you what I have here. So here's the dies, and basically what I have here is my standard die plate with a one inch block welded on top, and I've taken quarter inch rods and TIG welded them to space them staggered exactly how they need to be. As you can see that, This 316L stainless is pretty hard. I'm gonna try it out. If it don't work, I'll move on to something else. Cause when you put it in the press and start heating on hot steel, you're gonna lose some of the temper anyway in something like drill rod. So I spared you all this welding and cutting, but you can see what we have here. Now the thing I'll have to do is put kiss blocks in here so I don't overpress when I start making my actual thickness of my billet. So right now I'm gonna get a billet of 15 and 20 and 1084 ready to forge weld, and we'll start making our billet and test these out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this 20 layer stack tacked up and I'll get a handle on. Just put a little kerosene. This helps with the forge weld. It'll build a carbon soot layer in between the exposed layers and get it in the forge. I like to do three forge welds, two to three, depending. Take it easy the first couple, and then on the third one, press it kind of hard. Then we'll go ahead and draw it out and I'll use kiss blocks to get it down to about a half inch thick so I can get it ready to cut up. Now I'll clean it up. Go ahead and cut it into four pieces. We'll stack them up, re-tack them, and get them ready to go. So at this point, we've got our original bar of 20 layers drawn out, cleaned up, cut up, and restacked into four. This will give us 80 layers. I'm gonna do that same process all over again, clean it up, cut it up, and stack it one more time for our final billet for around 240 layers, somewhere about, and we'll do our ladder pattern. Same thing as before, do three forge welds, draw it out. And clean it up, cut it up, restack it. All right, so now we're up to 240 layers. Got that billet drawed out, cut up into three stacks of 80. So now I'm gonna put it in the forge, draw it down to about a half inch thick. Then we're gonna put in our ladder dies and press in our pattern, we hope. Another reason why I like kerosene is I can go ahead and put flux on it, sticks to it, 
because I don't reflux. I don't pull it out of the forge and put flux on it. Steve Schwarzer taught me not to do that. He said, if you're going to flux it, flux it while it's in the forge with a flux spoon. Because when you pull it out of there, you're taking a risk of scale building in between the layers. Same thing as before. We do three forge wells, then I'll draw it down to around a half inch before we put in our ladder dies. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get the ladder dies put in. Here I'm putting in kiss blocks. This will prevent me from over pressing with the ladder dies. You don't wanna press too far, your billet will be too thin when you flatten it out. Always pay attention, I forgot to put the pins to hold in the bottom die. So as you can see, kind of does some stick in here, but that's to be expected. Not too bad. So off camera, I ground these rungs down to almost flush with the billet. Now I'm gonna flatten it out. Now we'll get it cleaned up and see what it looks like. All right, let's take a look at our billet. I think it come out pretty good. Just a light etch. It'll really pop when I get done with it. Got enough here to make a couple knives. This pattern is good all the way to here. But that's all I could put in my etching vat. I think it looks pretty good. Now what I could have done to get a better pattern, a more distinct pattern, is ground out those rungs a little more before I flattened it out and drew it out. But I got a little lazy. Right. Anyway, I still think it looks pretty good. But just keep that in mind. If you want a more distinct pattern, you can grind down those rungs and do very, very little flattening and have a more distinct pattern. It still looks pretty good. I know it's hard to see here. But I also have an extra piece out of that same billet that I'll be using in the YouTube Samurai Challenge. That's coming up in a few weeks. But more importantly, these dies performed outstandingly. The only issue I had is with them hanging up, and that's because of these round rods and the metal wanting to get in there and kind of hang up. But that happened a couple times, and I was able to knock them out with my gloved hand. And if you got any questions, just leave them down in the comments. I want to thank you for watching. Thanks to my patrons, and we'll see you on the next one.